Okay, so for those of you that um, want sweet and sour um, pork, and but you don't eat pork, this is chicken, or sorry, turkey. You can do it with chicken. We're doing it with turkey because I had turkey sausage that I have to use, or it's gonna go bad. <laughs> I forgot about it. And so, um, if you have little ones, make little circles. If you big, big kids, big, you know, teenage boys, and your husband, make them a little bit bigger. I just like them to be a little bit smaller because you get more. And I don't know, it's gonna like them like that. Okay, so you're just gonna make a whole bunch of these. And they don't have to be perfect. One of those little packages of turkey sausage, that's a whole pound. That's like a whole pound of meat. I mean, honestly, probably only need half of it. I'm gonna do all of it because if I don't, I'm worried. I, it'll probably, I could probably save some of this for morning. I might. So that one's even a little bit too big. Because I'm gonna actually mix the flour with cornstarch. So, and I'm gonna do half and half because in Chinese food, they use a lot of cornstarch because cornstarch gives you a really nice fry, you guys. I don't know if you know that. Okay. So I'm just guessing. That might be a cup. It might be two-thirds of a cup. I don't know. I don't care. It's all I got right now, right? So I'm going to get my cornstarch because it spills all over my shirt. And I'm going to do, oh, uh, about the same amount, a little more, a little less. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Can't damage your food. No siree. Put this back over here. A little bit of salt. How much did I just put in there? It was my pinch. Probably a teaspoon. Pepper. Stick your fingers in the container. Stick your fingers in the container, pull it out, and that's good. I'm up a little bit more because me and Chris, Jeremy won't eat this. Me and Chris would like it spicy. There you go. And then we're going to, we're going to mix it up. Yes, we are. The balls I made now, I cut them in half. I showed them to you guys when I, when I first made them, and they were kind of big. And... Um, we're gonna do wet hand, dry hand. So this is wet hand, touches the meat. Dry hand, no glove. I could put a glove on it, but I, I cut them in half because they were too big. I didn't want them that big. I don't like biting into a big chunk of meat like that. So again, this is the turkey sausage you get in Walmart in those little chubs for $1.66, I think it is. And that nice 66, you know, like their numbers, don't you? They do everything weird. All right. We are going to get all of this coated. Let me get a spoon. That's all you're going to do. Just going to coat it. That's it. Once you coat it, it's not going to, they're not going to stick to each other once you coat them. Okay. okay, we already coated them with the flour mixture once, right? And did you know cornstarch? If you don't have any, if you have an infant, you don't have any baby powder and they have a rash or whatever, cornstarch. Silky, it's nice, it feels good on the butt, especially if they have the rash, you put that on them. Oh, you're gonna have a happy baby. Okay, you see that? It's not really coated that well. Because one coat doesn't do doesn't do the job. You want it to be nice and coated. Because you want it to have a thick out. That's why that's another reason why I cut them in half, because I already know that the coating is going to like not double it in size but it is certainly going to make it much bigger okay. now this might be a little bit much during the apocalypse but that's all right i don't mind i figure if we're gonna have to go through hell if there's any way i'll be able to cook for my people for my family anybody else who might be here well, the Lord gave me a gift for a reason. And I'm helped me make a lot of money with that gift. Let me tell you something. I was I was doing pretty darn good. And then he said, All right. You learned. You can do it. Now I need you to move over here. Because now 
That's what I need you to do. And I listened. You guys, had I not listened and left California, where would I be? I oh, know I told you all this, I don't know how many times. <laughs> That's okay, I never get old. Somebody new is hearing this for the first time. That's why you always give your testimony all the time because somebody new is going to hear it. All y'all that have heard it, well, listen to it again. Maybe at one time it might click. These guys, a few left. And then we're going to fry our turkey sausage. Now, you can use regular turkey, regular chicken. You can use, if you're a pork eater, use your pork. But this is for people that do not eat pork. You can use regular chicken you, and sweet and sour pork. Yes, you can. I've made it and it's amazing. It doesn't taste no different. Um, you can use ground chicken, slot, diced chicken, whatever. I happen to have a chub of turkey sausage and I'm using that. And um, I'll let you know how it tastes, but I think it's gonna taste amazing. Okay, we are going to put our um, turkey, get a little bit of help here. I should have done half and half, but it'll be fine. Now, when you watch them do it on them Chinese channels, they use a big old wok, and they're flipping it all over the place and all that crazy. Well, I don't do crazy here. I'm <laughs> this is not a wok. This has a straight up edge. And Watch somebody with one of these go and do a, do a video on it. Watch, I can just flip them. Okay, well, I don't. I won't. I got animals running underneath me. I got my kids. Running behind me. Might need a little bit more oil in there though. I know you're not supposed to add cold. Well, it's room temperature. It'll be fine. I didn't put that much. It didn't make that big of a difference. Get it up. Oh, get it up on high. They say, oh, you're not supposed to get olive oil up that high. Please, not gonna hurt. I fried with olive oil. I've got two 50 gallon containers of coconut oil. I got it at the restaurant store. I think they were like 75 bucks or something like that, or I don't know. But I have them in my food storage. And because it's a solid fat, I'm pretty sure it's got a long shelf life. All right, we're just gonna let them fry on one side. I'm not going to move them around because this stuff is, is fragile. This is turkey sausage, right? So it was, I had to make the balls and everything. If it was sliced or um, chunks of turkey or chunks of chicken, it wouldn't fall apart. I could flip it around. This you want to wait till it gets solid form because otherwise it will, see, it, now you can move it around a little bit. If you want to wait, otherwise you'll just fry it is what you'll do into a ground. You want to be careful. All right, we are on the second fry. Now it's on a on a very high fry. And you don't want to touch it too much with utensils. I mean, that's why they use the wok and they squish it around. Otherwise, you'll break it up is what you'll do. Handle is hot. All right, you see how nice and golden brown those are? Like amazing, don't they? What you do with the um, oil that she used to fry the pork? I poured it. I poured it back here, in here, in this pan, because I, I obviously didn't want to use it for my um, beef, right? Because this has like. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. Because we want to throw the fry the vegetables in it, right? Doesn't that make sense? So I saved it back there. And it's got the fixings. I want to dig them fixings out of there. I don't want all that oil. And I certainly don't want all the fixings. 
But I do want some. They're gonna add flavor to the stir fry. So, get this going. And I found the lid to this one. I've been looking for these lids. Okay, so when my, when my Charlie passed away a year and a half ago, my mom and my sister, bless their hearts, they're asleep. However, they came out and um, they cleaned my house and they organized everything and they did a lot of stuff for me and they did so much and I love them for it. However, for the next six months, I called them almost every day. Where'd you put this? Where'd you put that? I, I said, why'd you guys do this? And they said, so you'd call us every day asking for stuff and not crying about your Charlie. <laughs> um, we want to do carrots. Now, if you want to blanch your vegetables first, your carrots and your broccoli, you can. I did the last time I did it. And I, I forgot that step. <laughs> I'm going to use this. I'm going to lower this a little bit. Let those onions get nice and happy. Now I didn't put broccoli in here. For one, I didn't have enough. But for two, because I wanted that to be a separate dish. You can put whatever vegetables you guys don't stick to what you get in the store in the restaurants, okay? You can do whatever you want with your food. Especially Chinese food, so forgiving. Alright. And now the star of the show. <laughs> your pineapple. Now, I have lots of pineapple can. It not can some cans, but a lot of it is um, in the um, cans that you get from the store. But Christopher keeps getting into it. And he likes to eat, you know, he likes fresh fresh fruit. Now, I'm not going to throw these away. These are actually going to go to my chicken. Let them dig through it because they might like it. Okay. So, anyway, he's always getting in it. And eating the cans. And I said, Christopher, I said, do you want Chinese food during the apocalypse? He's like, huh? Because <laughs> he's, you know, he's not well. And I'm like, Christopher. Stop getting the pineapple. I need that for your Chinese food. Well, so then today, or yesterday actually, when I went shopping, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do real pineapple since he likes to eat it, and I will cut half of it up for the stir fry and half of it up for him to eat. So I'll cut it up into chunks and put it in a bowl in the fridge, and he will love it. All right. There you go. I don't think that's as tough as people say. I've eaten it before. Nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to cut that up. And if Christopher wants it, he'll eat it. If you don't want it, he won't eat it. But I don't think I'm going to put it in my stir fry. Okay. <laughs> Try cutting up like 10 or 12 of these for an event. Not fun. You do want chunks like that, just like you would get in a can. Okay, oh my fingers. Now I'm going to do two, and these two I will cut up and put in a bowl for him so he can eat later. I think I'm going to grow a couple pineapples myself because you can grow them in a jar. Alright. This is the star of the show. We're not ready for it yet. Okay. Alright, now we're back at the stir fry. We're going to throw in our turkey sausage that was nicely fried. We're going to get that all mixed up in there. Nice mixed up. Get it nice and juicy with all them wonderful infused flavors. Isn't that look awesome? We're going to pour this wonderful packet. This just has like the Hawthorne, but it has all that flavor that you want, okay? Then you also want 
a big heaping spoon of cornstarch. I think I need a tablespoon. Because that is what's going to make your, um, I'm using a little spoon, so I put about, about a tablespoon in there, you guys. Ah. Okay. You want that in there because that is going to cook in with them oils. You want to get it nice and coated. You want to get everything nice and coated because that's going to help turn that into a nice sauce, right? Turn it up a little bit. But you do got to cook it just for a hot minute, just like flour. You don't got to cook it for a long time, but you do got to cook it for, let, let the heat hit it. Okay? It'll cook that fast. The, the cornstarch, just like flour. You just don't want to just do it and then throw in the, the sauce and make, you know, you, you want to get it, you want to at least let the pan hit it, you know, quick. And then you want to know what you do, you guys? Ketchup. I have spicy. 40 cents at the Amish discount store. Look at that, 40 cents. I got so much ketchup, you guys. I don't know how many spicy, but okay. I'm just going to put a squirt. It said, is that a tablespoon? Oh my god, I could even smell it now. And I'm gonna use bottled water. This is gonna cook really fast. That just adds that. Oh, oh yeah. And there's your red color. Oh yeah. And it's gonna be spicy. And now let's go in. Pineapple? Well, apparently I wasn't supposed to add the pork yet. <laughs> Such is life. Don't matter. I'm supposed to add it like right now. But, you know what? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, gonna be fine, gonna be mighty fine. There's this YouTuber that says that. Cracks me up. And, I'm supposed to use a cup and a half of water. Need a little bit more water there. This is a lot of stir fry. I'm so glad I made those um, the um, turkey sausage smaller because now it's like throughout. That does not look amazing. Look at that. I'm gonna taste it because I'm dying. This looks so amazing, you guys. Now I'm very fluent in American food and Italian food I can do pretty well because um, it's pretty close to you know the way we cook Mexican food but Chinese food you just have the different seasoning that's the only difference okay I got I gotta taste one of these I gotta get a little bit of onion <laughs> and a pineapple I know pineapple supposed to be a lot softer Mmm. You guys, now I know why. Mmm, you have to fry the meat twice. When you fry it twice, it holds its shape because let me tell you, it's still crunchy. Mm hmm. As long as it's been cooked in about 10 minutes, still, it holds the shape. All right, let me pour me a plate. I already gave Christopher his food. Let's get a little, I want more of the vegetables of the beef stir fry. Uh, I think next time I'll do more vegetables. More, more onion, I think. More, more onion, and I should have got, just gotten some frozen broccoli out. There we go. Okay, and when you cut the, the uh, meat up that small, you take the risk of it coming apart and you know, just it is what it is. Now this is my, I love the rice, you guys. Don't call me a piggy. Get me a few onions on my rice. And, Get a lot. I love the pineapple and the onion, you guys. I'll get, get a couple pieces of meat. 
them right here. And I guess broccoli would have been good to put in here, but then you got and you get some more pineapple. That pineapple's my favorite. Carrots. I should be able just to get a big scoop of everything. There we go. That's a lot. I'm not gonna eat all this, but I just want to show you. But did y'all see that? Look at that. So you got your sweet and sour pork. And, oh, there we go. All right, you got your sweet and sour pork, your fried rice, and your bro broccoli beef. Let me taste them for y'all real quick. I know, I hate when people do this. But since they do it, they kind of made it something like I have to do, okay? All right. I'm gonna try the fried rice first. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. This is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I'll put a piece of meat on there. See that? That's hotter. Let me try that last. Because it just came off the fire. Okay, so we got the broccoli and the onion and the beef. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Alright, let's get a carrot. Bell pepper. Alright, make you some. It's good. You ain't got to go through the apocalypse with beans and rice. Alright, love y'all. God bless you. Shalom.